um, after some of the, the pressure you took and the hits you took, how are you feeling? How's the arm feeling? I feel good. I feel great. Obviously, I had a couple extra days off. Um, doesn't hurt, and uh, so I feel pretty good. Yeah, they do a really nice job of keeping everything in front of them. Um, they played really well last week, honestly, and got two really good uh, high-quality corners. Um, some young guys in the post in the safety position that are playing at a high level. Obviously, a disruptive defensive line, so they do a really nice job. Um, their coordinator's been a coordinator for a while and, and is a really, uh, really smart guy, so they're well coached and uh, do a nice job. Um, you know, obviously you see what they did last week. You look at what they've done in years past. Um, you got to go out there and play your rules. Um, whatever they're going to do, they're going to do. We're going to be ready for all of it, react, and, and go play football as best we can. Um, you know, uh, but I definitely, uh, you know, can see them mixing it up like they always do. Man, I didn't feel you were your normal, super accurate self. Is that A, accurate, and, and what do you attribute to that? Uh, definitely two, you know, two, uh, two or three I wish I had back. There's no question about that. Um, you know, I think uh, just got to do a better job of, of seeing it and hitting it. You know, a couple of those um, maybe trying to do a little too much. Others, you know, sometimes you lose vision on guys, whatever it is. Uh, no, everything I'm saying is, is something that's in the past and doesn't matter anymore, to be honest with you. Just keep, um, you know, trusting my preparation and knowing that if I do what I'm supposed to do preparation-wise, I can go out there and play at a high level and, and uh, you know, whatever happens, happens. Friday night, going back to Highland Park, you saw a lot of video of that. Uh, what was that like for you specifically in your family? It was really cool. Um, I hadn't been back there in a long time, and um, the place has changed. Uh, the facilities, like everywhere around there, is just it's unbelievable. Um, you know, Coach Allen has done an unbelievable job of building just such a great legacy there. I'm happy to be a part of it now. And um, it was a really great turnout. I was surprised by a lot of the teammates that I played with showing up, and, and at the same time, a bunch of fans in the stands too. So it was a, it was a cool deal. Can you just sort of um, dissect for us who've never played your position what it's like um, when you do have a receiver like Allen and he's on the backside mm -hmm. a lot, you're getting pressure, so maybe that's not happening in the progression. What that le is like for you and what that problem solving specifically is like? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, we want to. When we're at our best on offense, we're doing, you know, we're getting everybody involved. We're making uh, the defense defend every player on our team, every blade of grass on the field. Um, we can do a better job of that. I can do a better job of distributing the football to those guys, getting those guys touches early on in games, and helping them feel, you know, in the rhythm of the game. I've never played receiver, but I imagine, you know, the more you catch the ball, the sooner you catch it in the game, the better you feel about it, and you can kind of go from there. But uh, I definitely, you know, as a quarterback, feel like I can do a way better job of. You know, making those guys, everybody feel involved in the game as fast as they can, and then we go out there and just play the rest of the game. But can you consciously ever consciously do that with like a, a single receiver and say like, I need, he's going to get the ball, I need to get him involved? Or... You know, try to play, try to play the game as true as you possibly can. You know, there's certain plays that are, hey, I've got option one and option two, and they're equal, and maybe one guy's either got a better matchup or hasn't been involved, or you know, just try to get one uh, to an easier throw. Yeah, there's there's no question that. That probably happens, to be honest with you, a little bit more in practice than it might in a game where you guys running around in practice, like, I get this guy a ball, it's an even look, let me just get him one and get him, get him into the flow. So um, I'm always trying to, you know, keep those, uh, you know, receipts in my head of who's gotten the ball and all that kind of stuff, trying to keep everybody involved. I think we just play better when everybody's, uh, you know, getting touches, and that's my responsibility. Matthew, the guys on your own line have moved around a little bit. How long does it kind of take for all of you guys to get on the same page? Um, uh, you know, I played quite a few games last year with with Coleman at center so I feel really you know comfortable with that haven't played a whole bunch with you know um, you know whoever's gonna be there I believe tree at right guard um, yeah great job you know did a great job in the preseason I think it's probably a you know better question for those guys you know as far as being able to you know talk it out but uh, I know today um, you know Wednesday practice early down kind of stuff they did a really nice job of stepping up understanding the game plan going out there playing physical doing a good job Ten days, a couple is a, more. Ten, late, ten days is a long time to get ready for your next game after a loss. How excited are you to get back there and try to perform better for yourself, the team, and try to get a win? Yeah, definitely. Um, anytime you lose, uh, I shoot, I wish the game was the next day, you know. Um, go out there and, and play and get that taste out of your mouth. It's part of it. It's part of understanding what it's like to play in the NFL, being a pro and all that kind of stuff. But um, definitely excited to uh, have this week of preparation. Um, you know, not not skipping ahead at all. Just uh, you know, enjoying the Wednesday, the Thursday, the Friday process of it. Go out there and, and let it uh, let it go on Sunday. Feeling good about it? I am.